Welcome to the accessibility tutorial. The concept of accessibility came to the fore in the 1950s after the legitimation of gravity theory by Izard at the first regional science meeting in Detroit in 1954. The founding fathers of the accessibility concepts were, first, Hansen, who defined accessibility as the potential of opportunity for interaction, and second, Weibel, who considered accessibility as a property of configuration of opportunities for spatial interaction. It should be noted that Littmann highlights the following definitions. Accessibility as a general concept used to describe the degree to which a product, device, service or environment is accessible by as many people as possible. Access refers to connections to adjacent properties. Along these lines, accessibility can be viewed, in general, as the ability to access and the possible benefit to some system or entity. Accessibility is the number of jobs of key functions area reachable within 20 minutes using different public transportation methods. The purpose of conducting accessibility analysis is because by the result we can understand the uneven distribution of key functions and transportation nodes so that where the weaker parts in terms of not easy accessible area in the city could be spotted out. In IMM, the synergic integration of CAS components that follows the order defined by the table shows how elements come to self-organize or to synchronize their states into forming a new specific level of organization. These types of emergence as product of the synergies between basic components ordered as follow make emerging a specific property, pattern, named accessibility as something new that can't be described by the description of the parts. The question is whether the accessibility can be related to the identification of resilience, fragility, and connectivity network structures. Current policy strategies with focus on resilience show the relevance of the links between complex transport networks, accessibility, and resilience, mostly by exploring this relationship at different scale levels and its impact on the whole network. The purpose of conducting accessibility analysis is because by their result we can understand the uneven distribution of key functions and transportation nodes, so that where the weaker parts in terms of not easy accessible area in the city could be spotted out. The investigation process consists as follows. Determine accessibility in terms of the ability to access and to reach key functions in a certain time. Define a calculation method of the accessibility in a certain context. Values. Number of key functions in 5 minutes walkable distance. Generator value. Attractor value. Between us. Network measure. Intermodality value. Graphical representation. Accessibility spectrum diagram. Input data and procedure. Case study of Milano neighborhoods. By considering number of jobs of each key function and representing them in scaled circles, we can assume the numbers of travelers, commuters of each key functions are represented. So by overlapping transportation nodes with catchment area map and job density of key functions map, the uneven distributions of CAS, complex adaptive system, which is CD, can be distinguished. Because IMM diagnoses problems of CD, the city planner and those who want to improve city living condition, environment, and performance can see problems very clearly. According to TOD, Transit Oriented Development, comfortable distances to walk from and to bus tram stations, 5 minutes, metro station, 10 minutes, catchment areas, bus tram station, 400 meters, metro station, 800 meters. Following the TOD definition, we adopt a more precise way in determining comfortable distance to walk from to by defining catchment areas with isochromes. An essential tool for this type of study is the ArcGIS Network Analysis Toolbox that allows to build a network dataset and perform analysis on a network dataset. Moreover, the Network Analyst allows to measure accessibility in terms of travel time, distance, or any other impedance on the network, which are therefore more accurate than radio buffers for the purpose of the research. Hence, the analysis consists in the creation of pedestrian public transport isochrones as evaluation parameters of accessibility. Before running the toll, a first operation consists in the creation and discretization of the street network. Only then, it is possible to select a set of common facilities as the investigation starting points, for example, public transport stops or key functions location. Finally, time parameters are calculated in minutes, named in the two service areas. Considering the characteristics of the metropolitan area of Milan, which is rather compact in its composition, the travel times considered to allow access 
also to the weaker sections of the population have been divided as follows. Pedestrian isochrons, metric distance evaluated with speed, pedestrian, 4 km per hour, time, 2.5, 5, and 7.5 minutes. Public transport isochrons, isochrons for public transport plus pedestrian, speed, bus, 15 km per hour, tram, 15 km per hour, metro, 25 km per hour, suburban train, 35 km per hour, time, 5, 10, and 15 minutes. Hence, following the approach used for the other key categories, we consider that the complexity of urban accessibility concept can be better rendered by a set of metrics instead of one single value. This study aims at providing quantitative measures that can pinpoint significant features of the spatial organization of the urban elements in order to characterize the concept of urban accessibility. In this study, six spatial assets of the built environment have been studied and urban accessibility is explained through the relationships between them. For the selected case studies, these assets have been evaluated and presented by means of spectrum diagrams that allow direct comparison of the different metrics, namely, respectively, number of key functions in five minutes walkable distance, generator value, attractor value, betweenness, network measure, intermodality value. Urban accessibility is being explained through the relationships between them and presented in a hexagonal diagram in which their proportional relationships can be compared and interpreted. Number of key functions in 5 minutes walkable distance. It represents the number of activities within the catchment area of 5 minutes. Each catchment has its center in an existing transportation stop called facility. Create the selection query on the Select by Location dialog box to select features from the key functions that are completely within polygons, as shown below. Generator value. It states the distribution of the population for each census section as an absolute value within the catchment area. The ISTAT census of the population, 2011, disaggregated by census tracts, is used as a source to map the generators. Create a selection query on the Select by Location dialog box to select census tracts within the isochrons polygons. Count the residents. Attractor value. For the mapping of the attractors, the source used is the ISTAT Census of Economic Activities 2011, disaggregated by census tracts. The metric represents the distribution of employees in each census section. Create a selection query on the Select by Location dialog box to select census tracts within the isochrons polygons. Count employees. Betweenness. The betweenness of a node, building, is defined as the fraction of shortest paths between pairs of other nodes in the network that pass by node. Freeman, 1977. If more than one shortest path is found between two nodes, as is frequently the case in a rectangular grid of streets, then each of the equidistant paths is given equal weights such that the weight sums to unit. The betweenness measure can be used to estimate the potential of passerby at different buildings on the network. If the analysis is weighted by node weight attributes, demographics of a certain type in the surrounding buildings, for instance, then the betweenness measure can capture the potential of passerby of that particular demographic at building. The UNA tools use a very fast algorithm for computing betweenness. Network measure. It calculates the ratio between pedestrian areas within 2.5 minutes public transport catchment areas over the total area. Operation. Measure public transport accessibility by computing 2.5 minutes pedestrian isochrons, use public transportation stops as facilities, then create a selection by using the Select by Location 2 to select pedestrian areas. Calculates pedestrian areas and sum. Intermodal transportation is a transportation approach according to which at least two different means of transport are combined. Hence, this metric measures the number of modes of transportation found within an area over the total number of possible modes. Seven modes of transportation are recognized, bike sharing, bus, tram, metro, suburban train, electric car, charger. Therefore, on the other hand, values close to one indicates high intermodality rate due to combination presence of many means of transport in the area. On the other hand, values close to zero states that poor transportation choice are guaranteed. Operation. Create the selection query on the Select by Location dialog box to select features from the transportation database to identify modes that are completely within Polygon's area. Finally, we represent the six indicators in an accessibility spectrum diagram, which is composed of axes that contain the measurements up to a maximum value of 100%. This diagram is clear to visualize, since it can also be used comparatively between different case studies. 
The following slides present a case studies of accessibility investigation in Porto de Mari neighborhoods in Milan. Here we can see the comparison between the case studies of Milano neighborhoods, city center, Città Studi, and Porto di Mari. There are several steps for investigating accessibility because each step is related to others and the factors within each step are also interrelated. The coordinating between different cases and special key functions is necessary. However, we still can list out the sequence of investigating step by step. 1. Horizontal investigation, transportation system and notes. 2. Creation and discretization of the street network. 3. Demographic data extrapolation at the local units, such as residents and workers. 4. Identify public transport stops and routes. 5. Mark out each key functional map in the considered area, which is intermediate scale. 6. Draw the determined catchment area of each transportation nodes. 7. Overlap key functions map. Generate as attractors maps with catchment areas of transportation. 8. Analysis of final drawing. 9. Improve current condition, then conduct retrofitting. Redraw the new condition. 10. Analysis of improved condition. 11. Comparison and conclusion. The case study of Milano neighborhoods. Accessibility by public transport in Porto di Mare. The case study of Milano neighborhoods. Pedestrian accessibility in Porto di Mare. This tutorial contributes to the implementation of the following sustainable development goals. 11, 7, 9, 3, and 13. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to visit our website at www.immdesignlab.com.